Hello and welcome back to Coral Kiwi Arts. I'm trying to learn how to paint ferns. Now I have painted ferns before, but I've always find them very difficult to paint. Sometimes they come out perfect and sometimes they don't, but I would like to paint them so they come out perfect every time. And it's probably because I have to work out a formula in which I have to develop myself. So I've got a painting that I've done and I want to add some ferns to it. But before I commit myself, I want to just do some samples first on a piece of paper so that when I go ahead and apply my first bit of paint on my canvas, I don't want to fix it. So I've just got a my drawing pad here and my paint over here. So I'm going to try and draw or paint some ferns. Now some ferns are well, there's many different types of ferns, but I'm going to try and draw a New Zealand silver fern, but not the underside of it because the underside is silver. I just want to draw the top part of it. So I'm going to use maybe um, a dark green because that's the normal color of a silver fern from the top. Uh, previously I used to do the stem first like that. And then maybe I should use a bigger brush. And then paint the ferns. Like this. Now that's okay if you're just doing a fern that's small and you just want to fill up a bit of space on your canvas. So that's a basic fern. And you can tie it up. Let's try and tidy this up. But this is not the sort of fern I want because the one I'm painting is going to be quite large. It's going to be full of detail. So if we put this under a microscope, you'll see that there are many other ferns within the branches of this fern. So I'm going to change my paintbrush because I'm not happy with this one. Let's change it to something that flows a bit better. Um, it's funny. Ah, this one. When it comes to painting, it's not about the paintbrush, how thick it is or how thin it is. It's about how you use it and what it can do. So on a um, bigger scale, but first I'm painting with acrylics. But they are like watercolors when you apply them to paper. And uh, I would like to try some watercolors out later on. So normally I'll just do the what's going on here. I picked up a bit of dry paint. This paint's been sitting here for a while. So that's the stem. It's not very good. I should put some new paint on there. 
Oh, that's better. Now, so, um, as you can see, it, it starts off small and widens here, and then it, it comes narrow on some ferns, or it just ends like this. But on a bigger fern, what is wrong with my paintbrush? And the leaves are always going inwards like that and then another branch goes like this but already this is wrong but it all comes down to practice so this is why I wanted to do this so that when it comes to doing the final painting of my ferns I want to make sure that it looks okay so the leaves or the stems they go in they could come out come out like this and I always find it easier to paint quick if you paint quick they always tend to come out nice if you don't think too hard about it sometimes come out when you least expect it. Go in. So you start off, go in, and then out. And you can make them go like this. Now, if you blow this part up here, it's one of these. Believe it or not. So, this is one of these, and this is one of those. It just gets smaller and smaller. Crazy, eh? <laughs> now, maybe maybe if I do this Ah, oh, yeah, that's a bit better Play around with it. I guess I'll have to paint lots of these until it comes out to how I want it to come out. Now I'll show you the final painting when it's finished. I'm going to try and finish it today and put it on Instagram and I might put it on YouTube as well so you'll get to see the ferns what I've done. Now I'm not sure how many of these there are per stem. Maybe I should do a count. Make this wider like this. So 
so it's got to be evenly spaced out as well as these to make it look more appealing if your painting is busy meaning there's lots of ferns then you won't really notice any mistakes but when it comes to painting and if it's from your imagination there's not really any mistakes but it's nice to have something that's that looks appealing I might actually use this paintbrush to do my ferns now I can come back and tidy these up by adding colour and some shading to them but uh, yeah not too bad and now if you're doing one that's on the side so it's the side of the fern like this same thing maybe it, maybe it helps if I do this first so you can get the right distances and make it flow it's probably better to do it like that first and then I guess it helps to have a look at a fern when you paint it then you know that what you're painting is correct but I'm just painting from my imagination make this a bit wider through here you can add the other stems in the back that of the other side through there. Okay, it's just a general idea, it's not perfect, but it gives you an idea of what I'm trying to accomplish as in learning. So thank you for watching, and if you like what you see, if you'd like to see more videos like this, please leave it in the comments box below, as well as thank you for all those who have started following this channel. Thank you, and have a wonderful day.